When you get a narrowboat as a sail away, it's kind of tempting to just sort of get into it and think, all right, I just have to put wood up here and wood up here and, and everything's fine. Because it does come battened, you know, it comes with, with battens in place and insulation in place, so you can think, okay, we don't need to do too much more other than put panels in place. It's a lot more complicated than that, and a uh, good example of that is the ceiling. What are your feelings on ceilings, basically? <laughs> what, 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 you know. I, I'm just, I'm particularly impressed by the way that this particular one waves back and forth. It, well, it's, it's, it's kind of relaxing, isn't it? It's, 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 it's a very <laughs> soothing curve. All the others are pretty straight. It's just this yeah. one is just like... Mwah. Now these, that you see here, we put these in. These battens were already in. This is all us. And uh, these are here to basically act as a kind of uh, support for the panels that will eventually be forming the roof. Um, one of the reasons we did this was that um, while we were actually getting our boat built, one of the very, very useful things we were able to do is that we were able to look at a lot of other boats, uh, other boats that like Tyler Wilson were fitting out at the time. They, they were okay with us actually just like nosing around and seeing how they were doing things. So we were able to pick up a lot of ideas and just get an idea of how you actually do this kind of stuff. Um, and, and here it's basically um, putting enough wood in here and over here so that there's enough, so, the, so that basically a, a four by eight panel will actually fit properly. There's all sorts of things that you have to bear in mind that if you don't know what you're doing, you wouldn't really know where to start. But, but yeah, these, these are basically roofing laths that we bought in a big bundle from Juicens. And yeah, we had to just uh, screw them in place. Um, and there were lots of them. And it, it didn't take quite as much time as you'd think, but it was still quite a lot of time. Okay, is that at a bit of an angle? I hope so. Okay. Okay. All right. So, like that? Probably. <laughs> so yes, putting them up was a lot of work, particularly even just using um, an electric screwdriver to put them in, just getting it at the right angle and uh, making sure that it was all straight. You may have noticed that there were a couple of there were a couple of bits where it. It wavers a little, but um, but it'll be okay. So yes, it was a lot of work, and it took a lot of effort, but it's up now, and I think one of the most exciting things about it is just that this is another big step towards giving us an idea of what the boat's actually going to feel like. I mean, this, this is basically the height that the ceiling's going to be. Um, admittedly, there's going to be a bit more floor underneath us, but, um, but yeah, we're... We're getting closer, and it's uh, it's a very good feeling. It's very hard working above your head. I mean, really, we should have like we should have you know measured it all out exactly. Um, but that would have taken ages. Well, yes. <laughs> we were just like, no, no, we're just going to get on with it. <laughs> well, no one's going to see it. Exactly. That this is the advantage. Apart from YouTube. Oh, yes. <laughs> no one at all. No one's going to see it. This is all a secret. If you're watching this, don't tell anyone. <laughs>